All right. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today. My name is Tracy Page, and I'm the executive director for the Southeast Florida chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. And today we are here to celebrate the Brain Bus. The Brain Bus has visited 67 counties, all the counties here in the state of Florida over the last year. Amazing. This Brain Bus is a statewide outreach initiative that raises awareness about Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. It addresses the benefits of early detection, early diagnosis, brain health, and risk reduction. With two mobile units, the Brain Bus travels throughout Florida with a focus on underserved communities. You know, the work we do here is vital. Florida has the second highest prevalence of Alzheimer's in the United States, with 580,000 individuals living with the disease. Miami-Dade County has more people than anywhere else in Florida living with this disease, 62,000 residents. And those numbers, unfortunately, are projected to continue to grow in the coming years. Hispanic and black communities are especially impacted, and they're at an increased risk for developing Alzheimer's. And that's why stops like this today here in Little Havana at Optum WellMed Charitable Foundation Center are so important. None of this work would be possible without the funding and support from our legislature in Florida and the Department of Elder Affairs. So at this point, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Carrie Ayer, Director of, the Dementia, Director of Dementia for the Department of Elder Affairs. Carrie? Thank you, Tracy. Hi, everybody. Hello to those of you who are joining us virtually. Thanks for being with us. We're here to celebrate the incredible work of the Brain Bus. As you just heard Tracy say, Florida is the state with the second highest prevalence of Alzheimer's disease in the country. And as that number is projected to grow, it becomes increasingly important that we look for opportunities to reach Floridians who are living in out of the way places. It's critical that we work together to ensure that all Floridians have access to the education and resources they need to get the very best treatment possible and to develop a care plan that supports the family. The Brain Bus is our most directed resource to meet Floridians right where they are. Last year, the Brain Bus covered almost 3,000 miles from Key West all the way up and around into the Panhandle at Pensacola. And as my friend in Pensacola told me earlier this week, that's a lot of pine trees in between. This team offered 190 virtual and in-person educational workshops and served nearly 5,000 people. With more people moving to Florida every day, it's easy to forget that 30 of our 67 counties reflect rural communities. And as a transplant from a rural community myself, I can tell you that these services are especially helpful for families facing a longer drive to a large medical center. Meeting family caregivers right where they are is often the true game changer. It means that the caregiver no longer must choose between paying for a professional caregiver um, so they can get away to attend workshops or possibly even need to make a risky decision and leave a loved one unattended at home. There's a lot of exciting research taking place in Florida. And of course, we're ultimately hoping that the scientists will tell us very soon that they found a cure. But until that day comes, early detection and early diagnosis is the path that offers families the best outcomes and best quality of life for the person with the disease and for the family caregiver. Working together through this special partnership helps caregivers get the information they need in a way that is accessible and supportive to their circumstances. Helping caregivers access the tools they, they need to keep their loved ones happy, healthy, and at home is always a primary driver of our shared efforts. We're so grateful to Governor DeSantis for continuing and increasing his support of the Alzheimer's Disease Initiative with this year's landmark funding. And we're thrilled that our partnership with the Alzheimer's Association Brain Bus continues to increase awareness about the disease and improve access to Florida's robust network of supportive programs as we work ever closer towards cure. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Carrie, for those words. Um, you know, the Brain Bus is made possible thanks to the hard work of volunteers at each and every stop. And I now get to introduce you to a very special volunteer, Marta Junco Ivern, a local volunteer and advocate here in Miami. Marta? Good afternoon. I have been a volunteer advocate for the Alzheimer's Association for seven years. And when the Brain Bus became a reality, I signed up to volunteer as well. It made sense, it was right on target knowing that Florida is home to the second largest number of people with Alzheimer's disease. Um, because of personal experience, my, I think 
information is the most important essential thing that, that we need. Um, my mother had Alzheimer for 12 years, so I know how information can help the caregiver or how it can improve the quality of life of the patient who is living with, with Alzheimer's. And after volunteering a couple of times with the brain boys, I realized that what I found outstanding is the way that that information is reaching people. Um, it's not person, they do not have to call for an appointment, they do not have to visit an office. The information is brought right to the heart of the community. And it's in such a non-intimidating way, a purple bus with balloons and, and drop or a volunteer, how can you go wrong? So, um, and I know, as a volunteer, I know that somebody approaching me when I'm standing uh, by, the, uh, by the brain bus, that may be the first step that the person is taking on their journey to become a, a caregiver or to become uh, or uh, a, a patient. And I know that those may be the only step that the person is willing is willing to take. Now, who visits the brain bus? In my experience, instead of saying who visits the brain bus, I would like to say what I have seen, not what I have sensed in those visitors. I have sensed curiosity, of course, but I have also sensed hesitation, reluctance, denial, fear, and sometimes, if I may say a phrase in Spanish, como que no quiere la cosa, in a way, in a nonchalant way, they come and say, oh, what is this? Oh, I'm going to take this for my neighbor, and which is fine. Now, um, some of the visitors do ask questions. They go from what is Alzheimer's, is there a, uh, what causes it, is there a treatment, is there a cure? Um, Others just stop by and grab a brochure. And that is fine because in that brochure, and that piece of paper, they may find the phone number of 24 seven helpline, or they may find that there are support groups in their community to help them along. Um, others ask a specific question, how to handle a specific situation, how to address a, a situation that they're facing, like when, uh, they're caring for someone with Alzheimer's and the person is think that they're still working, for example, what do you do? or the person suddenly doesn't uh, know that the per where they're living is, they think it's no longer their home. So sometimes they want a specific answer and what I can do is I can share my experience and I can share with them the information that the, the, the brain will provide. Everyone is different. Everyone comes with a different uh, approach, but when they leave the brain box, I have sense always gratitude because of the information was there, was there for them. Uh, to me, it's an honor to be part of this unique and much needed experience. And I'm also so grateful to the Alzheimer's Association for giving me the opportunity to join them in helping those that are impacted by this disease and to better our community. Those who know me well know that my mantra is there are actions we can take to alleviate the impact of this disease. And the brain loss is one of those actions. I just wanted to add this purple boss is a treasure that we cannot lose in Florida. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Now you all know why I said she's a very special volunteer and we're so lucky to have her. Um, part of the mission of the Brain Bus is to provide underserved communities access to Alzheimer's support. And now to share a little bit more about that is Keith Gibson, our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Director for the State of Florida from the Alzheimer's Association. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, it is truly an honor to be here today and stand in front of this wonderful vehicle, which is so crucial for us in terms of the Alzheimer's Association achieving its goals. And it allows us as an organization to be able to fulfill three out of, the, of our six goals, which is concern and awareness, care and support, and diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, as the state director for diversity, equity, and inclusion, it is our mission to enhance diversity and inclusion so that no community is left unserved. And this Brain Bus provides us that opportunity to connect to those communities who normally would not be able to have access to information and resources, which is so, so critical. And to also to encourage them to be a part of the solution and when I say part of the solution in terms of finding a cure, uh, which is so important to have diversity in our 
our clinical trials and our research. And the Brain Bus provides us with that opportunity to be able to help those underserved communities to feel part of the process. Um, I have a, a, a statement that I always like to share or a comment or a phrase, if you want to call it. Inclusion is the solution so that everyone is included and they're not left out. Um, this brain bus has allowed us that opportunity, again, to reach those communities that normally would not have access to organizations like the Alzheimer's Association and to also support those services like WellMed, who provides a much valuable service in the community um, and making them such a valuable community partner. And so I just want to say, again, thank you for this opportunity to be here today. Turning it back over to you. Thank you, Keith, and thank you to everyone for being here with us today. Thank you to Optum WellMed Charitable Foundation Center for hosting us. Thank you to the Department of Elder Affairs. Um, our, thank you again to our Florida legislature, and of course, thank you to all of our volunteers across the state of Florida. Um, please remember, if you or a loved one need any help or support, always call our 24-7 helpline at 800-272-3900. Have a wonderful rest of the day.